What's going on everybody? Prestige here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video about how to use the GPS system from Wapsher, also known as Guidance Steering. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to hit your left alt and your C key. Left alt and C. If you notice on the right side of the screen over there by the speedometer, that makes those icons turn blue. That means when, when those icons are blue, that means that your GPS system is on. Now it's not active yet. It's not going to work. You still have to set it up, but it is now on and ready to be used. Next thing you want to do after turning it on, you want to look at your mini map, the bottom left side of your screen where the mini map is. You're going to see some numbers inside of your mini map at the bottom of it. Right now, mine is at 358.3. The first number to the far left is your degree that you're facing. So I'm facing 359.5 degrees on this map right now, which would round up to 360, which would also be zero. Um, 360 degrees and zero degrees are the same direction. So what we're gonna wanna do here, you wanna remember that number. And every time you sh every time you go to set up GPS, you're going to want to remember that you want to try to round that to either 0, 90, 180, 270, or 360. 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So that is that makes sure that your combine is always either going straight up and straight down or straight left and straight right on the map you'll either be moving this way or this way if you do like you know 45 you'll be going like this angle and that can get you know it gets a little messy but like i said you can do it that way but this is just the basic way to use this gps system and how to set it up and the easiest way to do it so my steering wheel angle is zero degrees or 360 it's the same thing so i'm going to go ahead and hit my left control and s key left control and s it brings up this menu. This is what you use to set up the GPS system. But what we're going to do is we're going to enable guidance steering. You're going to want to make sure you have offset reversal turned on. I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom. You don't need to worry about headland management. I'm going to scroll down here and turn show lines on. I like to have the lines turned on. Next, I'm going to come over here to width and we're going to auto width. That will automatically adjust your tool and the width of your GPS track. To whatever size the plow or the header or whatever it is that you're using so auto width and then make sure that this stays at zero you don't want an offset with a with a piece of equipment that is centered with your tractor so zero on your offset all the time next you come down here to the next tab and this is where you're going to want that 360 degrees or zero degrees you're going to want, going to go right here to a plus heading you're going to set a and this sets your desired degree or cardinal and it's already at zero i'm just going to put 360 for the heck of it set cardinal and that is now set up you now can see the lines right there to activate it you want to hit left alt and x when you're you're going to hear that and there, on the right side of your screen your steering wheel is going to turn blue that means your gps is active so now We'll go ahead and run this first line right here. And then I'm going to show you guys how you get it turned around and reactivated. So turning your steering wheel or, you know, using your keys to turn will automatically deactivate your GPS system. You don't have to hit any, you don't have to hit left alt and X again if to deactivate it every time. You just start turning. So with this GPS system, all you have to do is match the gas. You turn the tractor around, you reactivate the GPS. That's all you have to do. You don't have to turn left or right, except for when you're going to turn around right here, just like this. We're going to turn around. You're going to get right here and then reactivate GPS by hitting my left alt and, and X key. And just like that, it starts rolling again. It gets centered on its own. And I keep, all I'm doing is holding the gas pedal down. That's all I'm doing. That's how GPS works super simple now i want to show you guys one more step that can help make life a little bit easier what i'm going to do 
is I'm going to hit my left control and S key to bring up the menu again. Now what I can do is I can save this track. I'm on field eight with a harvester. If I'll put F8 harvest right there. That tells me it's harvest. It's a harvest track. I can save track to farm and I'll add it. And now every single time this track will be right here. I don't have to do any of this anymore if I don't want to. Every time I come to field eight to do a harvest, I just bring up the menu. I click on this and then I click F8 harvest right there and it turns it on. That's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you found this useful and I will see you guys on the next one.